viewers today latest update from ethiopia and tigray clashes viewers the united nation deputy secretary general amina muhammad sent a strong message to warring parties in northern ethiopia at a new conference last week a lasting peace can only be achieved with justice and accountability for the atrocities that have been committed in tigray and nearby regions Muhammad made the remarks following a trip to Ethiopia where she met with Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and visited the country Tigray, Amhara, Afar and Somali regions. In November 2020, the Ethiopian government launched a military operation in Tigray against the region ruling party, the Tigray People Liberation Front. During the fighting, Ethiopian and allied forces from the Amhara region Uh, and government forces from neighboring Eritrea have committed serious abuses including massacres, uh, arbitrary detention, widespread sexual violence and forced dip- displacement of ethnic Tigrayans since July the government imposed uh, uh, an effective siege on Tigray and unlawfully detained thousands of Tigrayans throughout the country. Tigrayan forces have also committed war crimes including summary execution, rape and looting of civilians in the Amhara region and Eritrean refugees in Tigray. Prior to Muhammad's remarks, a United Nations press release had, uh, had set a very different tone suggesting a return to normally and emphasizing United Nations employment uh, development support for Ethiopia. A reporter asked Muhammad at the United Nations why there was no mention of atrocities of, or the treatment of international humanitarian staff during the conflict. Muhammad said she raised both issues and others during the trip, adding they cannot achieve my lasting peace without reconciling and being held to account for the uh, atrocities across the country. It is a crucial message the United Nations, African Union and their member at countries should take to heart. In December, the United Nations Human Rights Council took a significant step towards accountability for war crimes and human rights abuses in Ethiopia by mandating an international investigation. Uh, this action stands in sharp contrast to the United Nations Security Council, which has only issued two press statements and has not included Ethiopia on its official agenda. It's crucial that the Ethiopian, uh, it's crucial that the African Union mediator in the conflict, former Nigerian President of Asanju, keeps the in, in mind during peace negotiation, uh, ignoring accountability for the many abuses uh, committed during the conflict uh, would only cause graveness uh, to fester and undermine hopes for a durable peace. So, this is the latest update about it. For more latest report, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.